They never are, are they? Never. All right. Well, uh, if you're a Scrabble fan, and Sandy has admitted she is, you yes, better I listen am. up. <laughs> the game has had its first big update in a decade. There's a whole host of new words which have been authenticated. 5,000 new words, in fact. And, of course, they include some hip new ones like <laughs> selfie, chillax, hashtag bromance, mixtape, although we don't have those anymore, and frenemy, to name a few, which I think has something to do with being friends with your enemy, mm -hmm. <laughs> by the look of it. Now, Sandy, you can have first dibs at this because you are a Scrabble fan. I don't yes. know whether those words would actually be worth much or not. <laughs> what, what, what do you make of the update and what words have you tried to get through, if any, that have failed? Oh, well, look, I don't, I'm not across any of those words. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really old school. But I mean, as you know, I actually hate board games. I really thought they just put me to bed completely and uh, I'm not part of it. But Scrabble is one that I really fire up on. So I'm really into the big words that I can try and use the X and the Y and the F together and get the maximum scores. So maybe that's why the mixtape and the chillax have been included. Because yes, actually you get... <laughs> you'll get... you yeah. get more. I don't think exactly. selfie would get you that many, many points. No, 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 no. We think... <laughs> And the thing is to get the triple word count and, you know, the 10 for the X and the F and the Y together, that's, oh. a, that's a winner. Is that what it is? You even know that off by heart. Pete, I think we definitely lose in a game to Sandy. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. I think this whole idea is absolutely amazeballs, really. I think Hasbro... I don't know if that one's in there. Oh, you you're so hit, Peter. You oh. really are. Hasbro's got a whole new demographic here. They will make fully sick amounts of money oh. and then they'll LOL when all of that goes into their bank account. Now, remember LOL? People used to think that was lots of love, but yes. it's actually laugh yes. out loud. That's what I used uh, yes. to do. I remember um, David Cameron, the British Prime Minister, I think, sent a text to Rebe Rebecca Brooks, who was the editor of News of the World when that hacking scandal was on, yes. and she was acquitted, of course. Mm. Uh, but I think he sent, like, a LOL, thinking it was mm. lots of love, but it was like, you'll be, you know... <laughs> Stay firm, stay strong, you'll be OK, LOL. It was actually laugh out loud, Mr Cameron. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's why I you should never use it. with YOLO. You know, when yeah, you YOLO. Know, when, YOLO. Yeah, when you, only, <laughs> you only live once. And I remember going up to one of my daughters saying, what does YOLO mean? Yes. I mean what, is it a colour or what? You know? well, well, Sandy, maybe you should play Scrabble with your daughters before they know about all the inclusion <laughs> of these words and you might have a jump start on them. I hate it. Someone I, said to me the other day, totes, and I really, once totes. I figured it out, I thought, oh, like, gee, totes. Yeah, totes. And amazing, you don't like that one. That no. is really amazeballs, Peter. But <laughs> yes. do you think these words will actually stick around for long? Like, in five years, will anyone playing Scrabble actually use them and know them? Oh, there'll be another new 5,000 words. Exactly. That's another, exactly. another language. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That would be a good job, wouldn't it, choosing the new words for Scrabble? They've got worldwide publicity <laughs> over this. They would be yeah. laughing all the way to the bank. They're yeah. very Fantastic. happy. Fantastic. All right. Well, moving on. And my question is, how do you know if you can trust someone when you first meet them? Well, psychologists in New York say it's all in the shape of cheekbones and eyebrows. And it only takes our brain 33 milliseconds, which is a, just a tenth of the time it takes to blink, to make our judgment. Now, furrowed brows and sunken cheekbones mean you're untrustworthy, while those with high eyebrows and prominent cheekbones are said to be more honest. Now, we need to say that these features don't actually make you trustworthy, but they do <laughs> affect our perception of whether someone is. So uh, we have some photos of who actually passes the test. Lisa Wilkinson, she passes the test, as does Tony Abbott. Now, uh, I understand also, I'm not sure who we've got next, but Angelina Jolie and Hugh Jackman, they also have the high cheekbones and the good eyebrows. Brows. Lara Bingle, on the other hand, she's apparently not so trustworthy. So, Pete, mm. <laughs> what do you make of the... And, uh, yes, Nixon there, he's not so trustworthy either, mm. thanks to the furrowed brows. I need to look back at you, Pete, to see what your brows and your cheekbones are looking mm. like. Well, the girls in makeup say I've got very nice cheekbones. <laughs> <laughs> they do, they tell me every day. Well, there you go. <laughs> but look, I don't believe in that. I, my problem is I trust everyone. And, uh, and, and, and I've been immensely dis disappointed over the years with handing over trust to people and then them coming back at you and you go, ah. So mm. I take a bit longer now to process uh, what I think about people and just check them out if you like. Well, so maybe I, you can check out these eyebrows. Yeah, maybe it's the eyebrows. Or, I don't know. Sandy, she's a psychologist. Yeah, well, what do you think? Sandy, what I found interesting was that that 33 milliseconds, that's yes. all it takes for us to make a judgement. Is that, is that what you would agree on? 
Oh, look, I think that's probably a little bit quick. That's quicker than a. <laughs> I think that's it's quicker than a blink, quite frankly. But I think they, the old research or the, and the consistent research talks about seven to eight seconds before we make an assessment of someone. And of course we do because we need to understand non-verbal language because it often assists what is being said. People mm. often stumble and have trouble expressing themselves verbally. So the non-verbal gives us lots of extra cues about our decision making and what we make of what that person wants to talk about. So it's very valuable information and in fact a lot of you know one of the social difficulties of people who have Asperger's syndrome etc etc why they struggle is because they don't have that capacity to read non-verbal behavior so it really is important to be able to distill what is relevant and what's important non-verbal cues so what do you make of the furrowed brows and the high cheekbones well, I actually got makeup to make high eye, high cheekbones for the, today. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, paint some, put some Normally they're extra. very sunken. <laughs> sunken. All right, well, let's, um, let's, let's move on to our last topic because we've only got a couple of minutes left and we really want to show you this vision. How hands-on are celebrity mums? They've got nannies, cooks, cleaners. You, they've got all the help they might want. Well, Kim Kardashian has surprised us overnight showing she can change a nappy like the best of them. Kim actually won a challenge on Jimmy Kimmel to see who could change the most nappies in 90 seconds. Pete. Yes. Are you surprised? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you awake, Peter? Yes, I am. It's like, Al it's like Alison says, Pete, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm focused. I'm riveted. Did you, did yes, you yeah. think she would be able to change a nappy as well as she has done? Of course she could change a nappy as well as she's done. <laughs> she's, you know, Kim Kardashian and all the hoopla and all of that that goes with her, but she's a mum and the bond between mother and child is exceptional <laughs> and oh. I'm so proud of Kim Kardashian <laughs> and the work she's done there because you know what well, tongue-in-cheek but I used yes. to love I used to love changing the nappies of my kids yep. because it is just a wonderful bonding thing between dad and child or mum and child and you know good on it because Jimmy Kimmel I think has a a new mm. kid as well mm. so Kim's done very well there. Well, you're doing better than Kanye oh. apparently he doesn't change the nappies yeah. and that's why she's gotten so good yeah. at it. It doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Sandy what do you think? I mean really this story is on air a woman <laughs> taking two plastic tabs she's not really she's playing with a dolly she's not playing with a real human where we have to have feces wiped from the back of a child we have to have unstick two side adhesives and stick them across the tummy. Are you serious? I mean, a five-year-old could do what is on TV for that. Yeah, I tell you what, my daughter certainly does not lay there quite that. No, um, that no. We've got legs flapping in the air that. and yelling and carrying on. And, I don't oh. like it when you're mean to Kim. Oh no, we all like Kim a little bit more yeah. after those I'm nappy a bit changing tough, aren't skills. I today? Gee, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> we'll ask for a live on air nappy change segment next week for you both. Or, or bring back the Edelstons. We haven't had oh, them for yeah. two weeks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't get me started. So, Gabby Greco changing nappies. We'll see if we can tee that one up for next week. Right, that All right, that's going to be a fabulous challenge. <laughs> Pete and Sandy, Brilliant. thank you. <laughs> Bye. We'll take a look at the weather now for tomorrow. It'll be 23 degrees and sunny in Brisbane. There will be a late shower for Sydney. Becoming fine in Canberra with a top of just 14 degrees. Showers will be clearing in Melbourne. It'll be mostly sunny in Adelaide and there'll be showers in Perth. Davina Smith is here now with the afternoon news and Davina you have some breaking news in Sydney. Yeah Alison we'll take you straight to these pictures that are coming into our newsroom at the moment with reports an elderly driver has clipped a cyclist and lost control on the city's northern beaches. Now it's happened on Pittwater Road at Mona Vale with the car then crashing into a building. There are concerns the stability of that home may have been compromised as a result. Now we understand the cyclist wasn't hurt but the driver will be taken to hospital shortly and we will bring you more details on this unfolding situation as the pictures and the details come into the newsroom. Well, around 3,000 homes were without power after high-voltage power lines collapsed in Sydney, sparking a grass fire at Oxley Park. The case